experience, so we'll see. Yeah, it's an interesting experience. Yeah. It's going well. A little bit hectic. Right. Well, hectic, not a little bit. Right. <laughs> but we thank God. Because right. I, I, saw, I saw Nuhu in September and I see him now and he looks very tired, you know, it must be very stressful. Quite stressful, yeah. very, very stressful. He doesn't rest, right. he's always walking, doesn't have time for himself. Mm. He doesn't eat, <laughs> no time to do anything, right. no time to rest or eat or anything, so it's quite stressful. He has lost a lot of weight yeah. and he looks right. quite stressed. Yeah. Did you anticipate this, you know, uh, did you anticipate this, it was going to be this? Crazy? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> when you look at things from afar, you assume they are quite simple. Until right. when you get into it, then you find how difficult it is. Right. Right. But we thank God. Yeah. And how are you preparing? How are you holding up? How are you holding your end of the um, whole process? Well, at least I would say that the, um, with the experience that I got from the EFCC days, I'm able to cope better now. Deal with a lot of stressful yeah. situations. Um, tend to be able to resist a lot of things and mm -hmm. be able to cope with a lot of stress, handle a lot of affairs in different lights, mm -hmm. different perspectives, mm -hmm. deal with the children's aspect as to regard mm -hmm. to things and situations, mm -hmm. explain so many things to them in different languages and mm -hmm. ways that they will understand and comprehend things. Mm -hmm. Now you look at um, they also complain <laughs> they do not see no at all. <laughs> at times they don't see him for up to a week. By the time he gets back, they are asleep. By the time he goes out in the morning, it is either they are off to school most times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you look at um, I go around the country and I talk to people, and it's of the popular opinion that you know everybody loves no who they want him to be there, but they keep saying the the powers that be you know will not give him that opportunity. You know, um, but you know, everyone is anticipating, everyone is looking forward to him being the president, but they just have that war in their mind that wow, these powers that they will not let him be there. Well, we hope and pray that they will let go and they will conduct a free and fair election. And we really <laughs> hope and pray that each and everyone's vote will actually count as they say. They will always try to hold on to power with whatever ways and means possible. But we are praying that the election will be free and fair and credible. Right. Isn't that what's going on in, in North Africa where the um, leaders are, they, they don't want to leave, they hold on to power for too long, but in, in, the, in the age of um, social networking and the internet, you know, how 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 would that you know how would that work in Nigeria? You know they can't you know hold on to power like that. You know when the popular the people want this is who they want, and if they try to rig it, you know, you know I'm afraid you know people are going to react. Yeah, that's why I hope and pray that they won't even mm -hmm. try to rig it at the first mm -hmm. place because we want a free, fair, and credible election, mm -hmm. and. We don't want any problems. We don't mm. want to anticipate or mm. go through what mm. is happening in other countries, mm. in other Arabian countries. Right. All the violence, they mm. are quite unnecessary. So mm. we hope and pray that nothing of that sort should happen here. I see the way that they... It would be very sad. It's sad because the way they throw money away, I, was, I wrote an article that between the, the PDB primaries, you know, the money they spend, they could make every Nigerian man, woman, or child a billionaire. In dollars. That's the saddest thing. You know, so many people will get into that office, take a lot of money, just for them to come and use that money to hold on to the power, which is quite unfortunate. That's what we are praying and hoping that we change. That's why we mm. hope and pray that Nuhu gets there. He will turn things around and make a difference. Every money that is being voted to certain areas should be utilized for those purposes. Right. You know? right. So that each and every Nigerian will benefit, will have a good life, good education, security, everything. Right. So all those monies that the people are playing around, throwing around, right. it's meant for you and I, every Nigerian. Right. But unfortunately, nobody tends to see the money right. until election period, which is quite right. sad and unfortunate. 
if you were to point your finger, you know, when the, the Nigerian culture changed from such a, you know, disciplined culture to such a corrupt society, you know, and culture, and then who came around and kind of cleaned Nigeria's image around the world. But like they say on the streets that, you know what, if you do good in Nigeria, they're going to pay you back with bad, you know, which is what they did to him. And, you know, I have videos of people saying, you know, you know why did they do that to him? Why did they try to kill him? Why did they make him leave his country, you know, even though he was doing a lot of good, you know? You know, what changed that culture such a, you know, is it, I don't think it's the people, I think it's, you know, it's certain powers that, you know, perpetrate such, you know, evil. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We some people, most people, especially people that tend to get into the government, they would like to hold on to the monies. And after a while it becomes it becomes I don't I don't know even know what right what to use. It becomes like an illness. They keep on amassing monies, monies that they do not need. They can never spend such monies on themselves or on their families. Instead of them to utilize the monies in appropriate ways and means for the ordinary Nigerians, that they will take so much that they can never use them. If if I was to tell the the uh, the whole world, my experience with Noah is is someone that that makes something out of nothing that he would attract in such a way to come, you know, help that you forget about everything else, you know. That is my taking from him, you know, is that, you know, it's it's not all, it's just his dedication to what he's doing, you know, gives you that energy to, to, to really want to contribute to your country, yeah. If you were to tell the world, you know, about Nuhu, what would you tell the world about Nuhu and how, you know, he has fought for Nigeria in such a dynamic way? Nova has always had a very interesting personality, right from the word go, right from the time that I knew him. In fact, that's the main thing that attracted me to him. He has an interesting personality. He's a very determined person, very hardworking, courageous, well focused, very kind, and very, very selfless. Those are the trends that made him succeed in EFCC because he has the ability to sacrifice almost everything for others. I think Nuhu and not even Nuhu himself alone, Nigerians, because what he's fighting for, he's fighting for the ordinary, the common Nigerian and the Nigerian country as a whole. So he needs and Nigerians need all the support, the encouragement, the backings in whatever ways, the media support, the mental support, whichever way possible. So I think he really, really deserves it. To Thank make you. Nigeria a wonderful and great country that it should be. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>